Da Nang is a beautiful coastal city and here's how we spend our first two days. It really involves sunsets, fire, food, markets, a bit of history and more food. With that being said, let's begin. We started our day off at the beach. Now Da Nang beaches are very beautiful and a good reason to visit this amazing city. The coastline is over 70 kilometers, so this city is practically surrounded by the sea, which means that there are plenty of restaurants selling amazing fresh seafood. Some are right on the beach, but also you can find some in night markets too. There are also plenty of bars, beach activities like volleyball, a lot of spots to take holiday photos, and also small cafes to get a quick smoothie while you relax. So if you do visit Da Nang, having a beach day should be on your list. This area is one of the best places in Da Nang to see a sunset, a dragon breathe fire, and a local night market, all within five minutes of each other. It's located right on the Han River and provides amazing views of the city skyline, especially at night, but more on that later. Now we arrived early to see the sun go down, and while we waited, we took a stroll on Love Locket Bridge. Just like in Paris, you can buy a lock and prove your internal love by locking it on this bridge forever. I was actually surprised by the sheer amount of locks on this bridge. Maximum security love. <laughs> So at the moment, it's not that busy, but tonight during the Dragon Fire Show, it'll become extremely crowded. Your favorite fruit in the world, shuck fruit. 20,000, nice. This is one of the best and romantic places to see a sunset in Da Nang. Hey, look at this. This night market was definitely one of my favorite places in our first two days here. Firstly, there is a lot of amazing street food and actually a lot of seafood too. As you go around, there are all these stores selling a variety of seafood platters. You can try king crab, king crab, king crab. Uh, lobster, octopus, and many more. Both of us definitely regret eating before we came here, but the snacks we did try were very tasty. But you can taste the grill, that's nice. 
just make sure to walk around the entire street food section at least once before you choose where to eat because there are plenty of options. Lemony fresh. So you always complain I never win prizes for you and look what I won. Right? Throwing darts at balloons. Finally. <laughs> Super cute. Now there is also the fun side to this market, with many games for children and adults. You can also see local artists and talented street performers. But my favourite part of this market is of course the karaoke. <laughs> If only I had the confidence to sing. If you're shopping for souvenirs, then you can definitely find something here. Overall, this market is super fun and it's a nice place to check out while you wait for the Dragon Bridge to breathe fire. Everyone wants that awesome photo. So. Now I've never seen a bridge shoot fire, and as well one that is shaped like an awesome dragon. One thing about Da Nang is that their bridges are all very picturesque. Like this one over here is the first swing bridge in Vietnam, allowing boats to pass through at certain times. So the show starts at 9pm every weekend, and as you can see, it's a popular thing to do here. If you don't want to watch from this marina area, you can also take one of these boat cruises. These boats will take you to all the bridges in Da Nang, and then around 9pm, all the boats will stop around the Dragon Bridge. Either way, you should definitely see this unique experience. If you come to see the dragon spit fire and water, definitely come like half an hour to get a spot because it gets super crowded. And straight after, it's going to be like impossible to get a taxi or grab because everyone's dispersing at the same time. Here is a quick look where we stayed in Da Nang for two weeks. This hotel just opened this year, so the prices were not too bad. The rooms are very new and modern. They also have breakfast included, and it's only a 10 minute walk to the beach. The staff of course were amazing. Overall, it was a nice stay and a great location too. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you saying that to? Yeah. Yeah.
there are a lot of really nice cafes here in Da Nang, and this one is quite popular for tourists. Giving it that look from a time in history not so long ago, its old school military design is very cool and surprising, especially when you first walk in. Now because of their success, they do have a few cafes around Vietnam, so look out for one around the major cities. After a brief look of the menu, I went with one of their signatures, a coconut green rice drink, which was really tasty and refreshing to have on a hot day like this. Alright, that was uh, 120 crowns. 120,000? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I've always given it a check rounds. Yeah. But yeah, very cheap. <laughs> yeah, the English uh, explanations really help. The Museum of Cham Culture is a fascinating museum. It's the world's largest exhibition of Cham culture, with hundreds of sculptures and artifacts taken from My Sun Sanctuary, the most important kingdom for this civilization. And now it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site not far from Da Nang. The museum is massive and it can take a good hour to walk around. You can also book a tour guide. Either way, it's an interesting place to understand more about an ancient culture that once lived on this land. Lemongrass and lime leaves. <laughs> so the people in Vietnam they really like grown anything with rice. <laughs> Now just about a 10 minute walk from the museum is this restaurant where they have their own craft beer and awesome Vietnamese food. We went for the oyster omelette and a variety of spring rolls deep fried and fresh. All of it was fantastic. One of the waiters even wanted to show us how to wrap the rolls correctly because we had no clue that he had to do that, which was really nice of him, but mine still didn't look as good as his. Delicious as always, right? It really is, eh? I'm <laughs> Vietnamese people, everything is so delicious. <laughs> when I saw it come out, I was like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I've never seen this before. You have to do like this. Oh, yeah, I wasn't paying attention to that. Yes. Mine looks more tasty. <laughs> You can really find good Vietnamese food in Da Nang, whether it's in a modern restaurant or on the street like this place. Is it good? It's delicious. Even what we have, it's really, really good. <laughs> Our first two days here were amazing, and I can't wait to explore more of Da Nang and Vietnam. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.